James back with 360 and back. And today in this short iGuide tutorial, I'm going to go over how to add a image gallery to your 360 virtual tour in iGuide. Um, when you re when you first log into iGuide and when you first receive one, uh, you'll see just a standard grayed out um, picture of a house. And in order to have an image of your home associated with it, you need to go ahead and add photos. So in this section, we're going to talk just on how to upload photos. And in my next section, I'm going to talk about how to rearrange those photos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for everybody that's curious, you can always go to the iGuide knowledge base. And what you will do is in this top little spyglass area, I'm going to type in how to upload gallery images. There are a number of ways to upload the iGuide images, but I'm just going to show you what the, uh, the fastest one for me is when I do it. So the fastest way for me to do it is just click on upload gallery images. Now, once you have done that, there are some requirements. I won't go over all of them. Just hit the big one. So the maximum number of images is 150. Most people aren't going to have more than 150 images. Maximum size is going to be 20 megabytes. Maximum resolution is going to be 8,000 by 8,000. Um, anything that has been, uh, it's bigger than that. It's just going to be rejected. You just have to re-upload. Um, whether I'm taking your photos or you have another photographer that took your photos, you'll be fine just using the MLS or the FMLS photos that they send you because those are going to be pretty much resized to uh, fit these criteria. However, I do like uploading the high resolution photos. I think it just complements the tour that much more um, and looks the slack cleaner a lot better. So there's a couple different ways that you can go ahead and upload your files. So you can either drag and drop the images or you can just select here. This is just going to open your file explorer. Uh, and when you do that, you just go ahead and you can just kind of left click and drag. And when you do that, you can select all these images at once. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to do the first five go ahead and push open. You'll see your upload queue right here. And as it moves through, you'll see these little check marks saying that these are my images right here. Uh, once all your images have been uploaded, they are all right here for you. Now, keep in mind that you cannot reorganize these images right in this page. You have to go to my next video and you can see that one. Um, however, if you do want to delete a video, all you have to do is just click delete and it easily deletes it. Or you can just hit check mark. So say that there are several ones that you didn't want. Uh, you can go ahead and just select those and delete. There you go. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to either leave a comment or send me an email. Thank you.